that for statewide teams targeting serial shoplifters. The governor announced millions of dollars in funding today for law enforcement to create teams to go after organized retail theft. Those teams will be modeled after a task force that was created here in Monroe County last year. News 10 NBC investigative reporter Jennifer Luke actually rode along on a detail with the unit just a few weeks ago to see how it operates. Yeah, good timing here, Nikki. As we've reported, just four big box retailers in Monroe County alone lost nearly $9 million to theft last year. That's when Monroe County, the sheriff, uh, his office created this task force to try and help. They run details several times a year. Plain clothes officers go into a store security office and watch the cameras. When they see people stealing, they radio out to other members of the team who are waiting in the parking lot. Those team members then catch up with the thieves and arrest them. When I spent the day with the task force, we were in the town of Henrietta and made dozens of arrests, not only for shoplifting, but in some of those cases, the suspects were trying to return to cars that were stolen too. The governor wants this kind of task force in other departments across the state and within state police. Then they can share information with one another in hopes of shutting down some of the more organized operations. The sharing of data and intelligence among federal, state, and local entities, not just here in New York, but across state lines. This is how big this is. Then we can really make a difference and shut them down. Now, of course, there's still the issue of appearance tickets. In many cases, that's what the shoplifter gets, and then he or she is released. There is a push among law enforcement to strengthen the penalties. Whether that happens remain to, remains to be seen as the legislature in Albany gets to work on policy now that the budget is done. Mm. Nikki? Let's hope it all makes a difference. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jen.